Alright guys, now, right here is a rocket, a model rocket, and for the past few days I've been working on it, and as you can see, I didn't really do a very good job on it, since I used nothing but whatever I could find at home, but anyways, what I did was basically take an engine, and I rolled a piece of regular paper all over it and then I reinforced the outside with duct tape and then I took some cardboard and cut out the fittings for it and assembled it and then finally I took a piece of cork to assemble the base of the nose cone and then used paper to make the rest the cone part and so right now I'm filming on the night before we're going to launch this and right now I'm just thinking that something's gonna go wrong but I've built it pretty nicely so I'm praying that something's gonna happen something good but most likely it's probably going to break apart considering that I use nothing but super glue and tape to tape these fins together so See you tomorrow. And in the blink of a second, it's the next day. Lucky you guys. I had to sleep through it. Anyways, as you can see, the rocket is here, ready to launch. And for this, I'm just going to lay it down here to launch since I'm going to kind of be covering my ears when I launch. Seems like the winds are coming from the north at about six miles per hour. Or so at the current moment, I'm probably going to wait for the winds to die down before I launch. But I'm not so sure about that. I'm kind of also waiting for people to pass by because they're kind of giving me weird looks. that really matters much so let's get to it Crap, where'd it go? That's the problem. Huh. Damn it, I didn't record the launch either. Uh but all I do know is that definitely did gain some distance. Well, that's that. We'll report when I do find it. Hey guys, check this out. I found it. And let's see. Nothing damaged at all. Isn't that amazing? None of the tubes. The only thing that's damaged is part of the shock cord and the parachutes, which I didn't really expect to deploy anyways because I crumpled it a little bit too tightly but other than that the rocket was light enough to tumble back down without taking any major damage so voila scratch rocket cardboard paper cork rubber bands straw and a bunch of duct tape not to mention one nail
All right, this is a after launch damage assessment report. And as you can see, the rocket is fully intact, except for the parachute, which I cut off. And basically on the outside, I don't see any damage, which is very good considering that it tumbled some thousand feet or more down to the ground. But maybe that's because it landed in grass. And so anyways, in the back, all the fins have no damage on them. The metal clip that I used to hold the rocket or the engine, the rocket engines, is a little bit charred, but that should be fine. The nail that I drove into the rocket, as you can see here, is undamaged. And using a flashlight to look inside, it seems that the inside is slightly charred, but it should survive at least a few more flights. And moving to the front, you can't see very well, but the insides have held up very well. The thing that's used to hold the shock cord is intact. And the shock cord itself is undamaged, along with the nose cone. And right here, you see the rocket engine. And that doesn't really matter much, since we're going to be throwing it away anyways. But, as you can see, the rocket is in pretty good shape, at least fairly good shape. And it should be ready for the next flight, which will be at the very soonest, Tuesday. And so, let's just hope that I do remember to push the record button to record the video unlike this time, and we'll see you next launch.